Check out his channel on YouTube. I'll link below. Awesome. Good stuff. Just starting out racing. Yep. Had a crack on Zwift. Had a really good time. So I feel sorry for the guys in D grade. Yeah, D grade. Yeah. They'll crack the win, I'm sure. <laughs> So that was the Tour de France party we had at Bicycle Network last night here in Melbourne. Great night had by all. Bicycle Network are the group behind rides like Around the Bay and the Three Peaks Challenge and a number of the other Peaks Challenges around Australia. Epic rides, 200Ks plus, lots of vert. And I'm guaranteeing you will be seeing a lot of their riders using the Zwift platform to train for these long, long rides. And they'll be doing a lot better times because of it. I'll run you through the recipe that works for these Zwift event nights that we run. We use the gamification side of Zwift, not the simulation side. So we use flat pedals on the bikes and with toe straps, as you saw in the video before. We set everyone to 70 kilos. Everyone's the same height and they're both, they're all the same avatars in the same kit. We don't worry about changing their height, weight and everything like that. When we're running a serious competition with money on the line, we change all of that. But when there's a drink bottle on the line and people just want to have fun, we keep it simple. People can just jump on and have a go. That's worked really, really well for us. We've been using the Watopia wall. I've mentioned it in another video. Last night we used Watopia wall again. It worked perfectly. We can set two riders off side by side. They shoot up the hill next to each other. The crowd behind them get really, really rowdy and there's a lot of cheering going on. We could use the sprints in either direction as well if we wanted to run a sprint night. Uh, one's a 30 second sprint and the other one's a 15 second sprint in the other direction. We use Top Gear style leaderboards, which makes things really, really easy. We jot down people's times, take their names and just put them on the board behind us. And whilst people are riding, they can see what time they've got to get to. So up the Watopia wall, it's hilarious to watch somebody on the bike. They'll look to the side and see where they need to be and compare that to their time estimation really makes them fight a lot harder. The number one goal is fun. It's not about simulation or training or FTP or VO2, even though it's a VO2 effort. It's about having fun on the bike, drinking beers, and the competitive spirit comes out in everyone. It brings an event night to life. Rather than just going and having a beer and a bit of pizza and watching the stage, there's something in the corner that the competitors can challenge themselves with and challenge their mates with. We've had all types of people ride these bikes, setting six minutes through to nearly a minute and a half up the KOM, and everyone has just as much fun. 
The one lap's probably a bit too far, but the shorter stuff works really, really well. I've got another four or five of these events coming up in the next week. It's massive, it's going off. In Australia, roller racing used to be very, very popular, but the bikes are unstable. You've got to hold them and that's only for the hardcore. This, the bikes are locked in nice and tight. Any shoes, jeans, people were in hoodies the other night, but they're having fun. Again, that's what it's all about. Look, we've got one le one week left of the Tour de France. If you want to run a Tour de France party, I'll put the recipe below what I've used uh, and this the route selection and how to run the show. There's two things I'd recommend though. Put it on a big screen so everyone can get involved and use a smart trainer so people just really get that wow feeling when they're on the bike for the first time in this environment. It brings the night to life. Their competitors rocking up to these events, they don't want to stand around. They want to have some fun. This does it. So last night wrapped up at 4 a.m. for us after somebody decided to go for a run. What's happening there? So that's a wrap up of the Bicycle Network event last night. We've got four or five of those coming up in the next week. It's going to be busy. I can't wait to catch up with everyone, introduce people to smart trainers, indoor training, and watching people suffer a little bit more when they thought they were going out for a beer and a meal. <laughs> Thanks for watching.